Today, we're building a fiber optic video transmission system for FPV drones. With this system, we can get a much higher resolution than typically available, ultra low latency, and immunity to interference from electronic warfare. Let's get into it. A few months ago, we saw the deployment of fiber optic enabled FPV systems to counter electronic warfare. I think this got the attention of many, but I'm more interested in not just that they're doing it, but how they're doing it. Naturally, the next question for me was, where can I get one? We know that countering standard FPV drones has been a priority for both sides, and they have become very good at this, making fiber optic a logical step forward for secure and reliable transmission. From images circulating online, it seems these systems use lightweight exposed fiber optic cables paired with a spool and hardware to translate the UART and video feed into a single fiber optic line. There's nothing super challenging here, delivering 720p or maybe 1080p video at 30fps while encapsulating the ELRS UART data into an optical transceiver. But as always, the devil is in the details. So I started looking online for existing modules. Turns out you can buy these systems, but they cost a lot. Upwards of $500 for a single unit, especially for something still relying on analog cameras and the good old PAL and NTSC formats. After a few too many late nights, we made it work. Although we can have 1600 by 900 resolution at 60 FPS, we can go up to 720p at 120 FPS. So not bad performance overall. Now, what's really cool about the system is that we have full control over the data entering the flight controller, which can unlock new features. Like we can display any we want on the OSD as we're not limited to just Betaflight or iNav analog OSD. For this build I was really inspired by the DJI 04 Air Unit OSD on their website so I decided to take inspiration from it. Another example dropping objects precisely could be much more accurate if the pilot was provided with prompts about where a dropped object might land with trajectory estimation. If you're curious to dive deeper into how the hardware and software work head over to my buy me a coffee page Page, where you'll find videos breaking it all down in detail. If you're eager to build one yourself, I'm offering a kit that includes all the components you need, along with the software to get started. If you need something custom, feel free to reach out, I'd be happy to create a custom solution for you. Although this is just a prototype, I'm excited to take this system to the next level. That's why I've decided to give it a name, Spectre. Everything considered, all components cost me around $300, excluding the quadcopter of course. I'm sure that if you use cheaper cameras, older Raspberry Pis, you can bring this number down. First, I'll probably flesh out the software as much as I can for it to be reliable and add critical features like target tracking and seeking and potentially thermal imaging. If this gets enough support, I will design a custom system with its own PCB and processor. If you're someone with expertise who'd like to contribute, I'd be thrilled to hear from you reach out via email. Together, we can build the next generation of UAV technology. And if you found this interesting, please consider subscribing. See you the next one.